Hey guys, Jason with DLT. I'm here with Adam from Battle Horse Knives. Good to see you, my friend. You too, man. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Battle Horse Knives and what makes you guys different. Um, One of the things I think of is um, performance to value. You guys, are, I think, uh, are at a great price point. Your knives are built to perform. 100% American made. Yes. Talking to you guys yesterday, it's amazing how much of the stuff you make in shop. You even turn your own uh, screws and things of that nature, bolts. Yeah, to, yeah, to bolt our, it together. our brass nuts for our loveless bolts. Make the sheaths in-house. So yes, basically sir. everything is made in-house in your shop. As much as we can do within reason. I mean, it's we're not casting my card. We, we, sure. we leave that to the, the people that are experts at it. But, you know, when we find a spot where... You know, we weren't able to keep up with production. We had to kind of figure out a way to make sure we had the parts that we weren't waiting on. So that's where turning the turn the brass nuts for the bolts came in. Um, we do, like you said, our sheaths. Um, we do our Kydex. We get our, all our leather from Weaver Leather and sell them all in shop. So not only are you, when you buy a battle horse, are you uh, buying an American-made company, supporting American-made jobs? It's a real family company too, right? Absolutely. Um, honestly, I, I'm pretty much, I'm the only one not that, that's, literally related that's now. That's right, that's right. And, and I'm maybe as close. I mean, we have had kids raised in church together. I mean, we've been pretty close for a long, long time. So. But it was amazing yesterday when Alicia was saying, you know, my husband, my, you know, Kids are working yeah. there the whole nine yards. It was yeah. it's really cool. You guys have a pretty long history too. You go back quite a few years, I think, back to when when Dan owned the company and yeah. have a have a real strong history in in bushcraft. I think sure camping the outdoors. That's that's really what the brand is built around, correct? It is. Dan started making knives right around two thousand. Um, him and LT got together. They were buddies. worked at worked at a shop together and kind of got into the hobby and. Um, had blind horse together and they both kind of did their own decided to do their own thing dan started and uh and alicia started battle horse and <laughs> the rest is kind of history we just kind of keep on building on tradition and and uh the family group that we've you know kind of surrounded ourselves with, with with our customers we're really blessed to have some really really awesome people um and and more every day so it's it's a company that's been built around kind of functional stuff that we can make that we, you know, we kind of try to bring two people that end up being you know, very, very close family-like folks. I, I guess sort of sure. think of how to say it, but, you know, um, and like you said, the, the try to keep in the price point to, uh, you know, as reasonable as we can. Yep. Um, Honest, honestly, for being made in small batches, 100% in the U.S., I'm amazed you guys can make them for what you do. They are amazing knives for the price. It, it, if you as a customer don't own a battle horse right now, I invite you to buy one and try it. The return rate that we get on them is very low. Uh, almost everybody that buys one keeps it, which tells yeah. me that, you know, it's easy to look at a picture and think, hey, this is a great looking knife. But then right. they get it. They don't like it. They return it. So the return rate on your stuff is extremely low, almost non-existent, which tells me that when they actually receive it, they feel value in the knife and they want to keep it. So, it so that's that's real proof positive to me. It is. And, and really, um, that in a, in a nice secondary, you know, you don't Absolutely. see tons and tons and tons of them traded, but you know, they, they hold very they, they, well. They don't fall in half in value. No, right? uh, you know, I tell people a lot of times like, Oh, I just, I have a really hard time spending $250 on this night. And I ask them like, well, would you rent it for 50 bucks for a year? And like, Oh heck yeah. Do you do that? Yeah. I'm like, no, but like, Honestly, but, but if you, you can't can, get 200 you bucks can, out of this in a year, like right. something's wrong. Let me know because you're, you're talking to the wrong people. Yeah. So it's a, it's a fairly safe, you know, price point investment when you're really wanting to start to get into good, good quality knives. You guys have a close relationship with your customers, we do. both from your, your groups that you have, as well as you guys do a lot of um, activities and stuff with your customers, right? We do try to. Um, Alicia is out all the time. I mean, she's out several weekends a month at least on overlanding trips and meeting people and, and you know, trying to engage with our, you know, the BHK family. We do several camp outs a year in Cambridge where we're at, you know, sure. um, and actually at the original property that the whole blind horse stuff started out at Dan and Judy's house, you know, yep. um, lots of people. It's, it, we're, like I said, we're, we're absolutely blessed with just some of the the best people I've ever met in the, in the industry that support us and take care of us. And, you know, it's, it's a, it's a pretty cool, 
pretty cool place to be. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty lucky that I get to be part of it. I know we've really enjoyed working with you guys. Kara has a good working relationship with you. You guys have a good cadence back and forth getting product to us. One of the things when we first took your brand on that we got a little bit of pushback on was, hey, all they, they make it in is 01. Sure. But that's not accurate. You guys are now doing other steels. I know you've done some CPM 154 yeah. for us. Uh, I believe you do some S35VN. We do. Yeah. So, uh, you know, don't don't think that 01 is the only steel that, that Battle Horse is using. There are other options. We have them at DLT. You guys have some direct. Sure. So there's options out there. Uh, and, and I would certainly invite you to give them a try. Uh, they're, they're built around function. They're a great price point. They're a great value. Uh, in closing, is there anything else that you wanted to add, Adam? I, you know, I don't think. I appreciate the opportunity to come and hang out with you a little bit. Yeah, and, you know, We obviously appreciate our relationship with you guys. You guys have done tons to support us, and, and uh, I'm glad, glad we got to do this. We're going to keep doing it. Heck yeah, man. Yeah.